everyone. It's Saturday morning, 8 a.m., and I'm about to get ready for our exciting scrimmage against the Menlo College men's volleyball team, which is one of the top NAIA teams from California. For those of you who've been following along, we're still building the Tall Ones Generation 2 team, which means we currently don't have an official outside hitter or a second middle. So special thanks to Nick Siribon and Jared Kozak for subbing with our team today. I'm excited but also nervous about today's scrimmage because this is the first time that our team has officially competed together and I haven't played with our setter John Tatro very much and we're going to compete against a very good collegiate team. So the chips are stacked against us but sometimes the best way to learn is just to throw yourself in the fire. I'm going to get ready, pack my supplements and my Gatorade drink and get some breakfast. Got to fill up on fats, carbs and proteins and extra sugar because I burn a lot of calories when I play volleyball. I think it's because I'm a shorter player and I'm so intense that I put everything into every movement. And volleyball is not known as like a super high calorie burning sport compared to sports like soccer and basketball. But I think the way I play is pretty high calorie burning. So that's why I need a calorie packed breakfast and it tastes good. My Got my sausage croissant, which hash browns with a, a bonus fry. Is that a bonus fry? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> and I even ordered a little extra French toast stick for my little dessert. Today we're arriving an hour early for a full warm up and hitting lines. So we're definitely doing some extra work today in addition to just scrimmaging. This is a really nice campus here. Got a lot of nice trees. And finally got to the gym. Our new custom fused jerseys for this year haven't come in yet because we're still collecting sponsors. So we gotta wear our old ones from last year, but still rocking the tall ones. So our team finally showed up. A little bit late, got me nervous, but we're all here now. And yeah, now it's time to start a full warm up. just finished our scrimmage and definitely have a lot of thoughts to share about that as you can see it was a little bit rough uh, but we're gonna go have lunch with some of our teammates John our setter and Brant our libero and sushi always feels good after volleyball high protein carbs but not super heavy Just finished an actually pretty tasty sushi place with Brant and John and always feels good to eat sushi after volleyball. I decided to drive back to the gym because Sport Connects, the other VLA team in our area, Ryan Bridges team, is actually scrimmaging at Menlo College right after us. And we're a tier two team for the VLA and Ryan Bridges is tier one so his team is definitely a lot stronger than ours. So it'll be exciting to see 
how Menlo College does against Sportcon X. And it'll be fun just to support Ryan and his team and all the local guys there since we all play together in a lot of the same leagues and tournaments. Just got home from watching Sportcon X play Menlo College. First, I'll talk about how Menlo College played. I was really impressed with how systematic they were and their defense. They were super scrappy, not used to teams playing mentally that strong and for that long. And every time they were out of system, their guys were just crushing it. And the setter from Menlo College was really good. Very difficult to read, great technique. He always got his feet under the ball was very neutral in receiving the ball and then made great setting decisions, got his hitters one-on-one -on -one many times and always pushed the set out to the antenna. Now for our team, we struggled. This was not a fun game to play because one, our passing was really bad in the first game and we just struggled to connect. And the second game, as our passing got better, we just felt like we we're hitting against two blockers all the time. So I think our offense became very predictable it got a little better as the match went on and I think the biggest part is that we just were a little nervous. I felt okay. But I think as a whole, our team was getting quiet, the energy was low, people weren't talking, no one was strategizing. And even after we got points, people weren't really invested in bringing it in the center. And Menlo College just played really well. They are a very well coached team with some solid young talent. If you guys remember in my car ride back to Menlo College after lunch, I was anticipating that Sportcon X would beat them pretty easily because the talent on Sportcon X is pretty high. But surprisingly, they had the same result. They lost three sets and only won the very last one. And Menlo College served them off the court and just kept beating them in transition. And you gotta give Menlo College for all the hard work that they put in. They've been practicing for a while, for a couple months, weightlifting, and, and just putting in some good work in. So it's exciting to know that we have another local collegiate team other than Stanford that also is a great volleyball team. Thanks for watching this vlog. We'll see you guys in the next one.